Okay, up for sale is this 1988 Monaco Executive. It's a 34 foot diesel pusher. And we'll do a walk around first. I'm getting up close. Executive Alcoa wheels, marker lights. Back up sideway lights. It's got tended windows with the awnings, awnings on all the windows. Your hot water heater, your power junction, your fresh water pressure. There's your furnace. It's a tandem axle. I've got it up on the jacks, self leveling jacks. This is a fully loaded model. In 1988, this was a $180,000 motorhome. Um, you'll see what I mean when you go inside. Monaco bought uh, Executive in 87, and then they built this premium line. This is actually one in the middle. The neat thing about this, that's the uh, Emerald 3 generator. It's a 6500 does run on propane. I currently have the uh, propane disabled. I replaced the valves. I, I did have it running, but the valves were leaking at the tank. Uh, this also has your tow hitch, your wiring. It's got uh, up top. Let's run up top really quick before I go around. Take a look at this. And there's your Cummins turbo diesel. I'm going to set the camera down and take a hike up the ladder. You got up top storage. That's a one piece cap, folks. 34 foot one piece cap. You know that's expensive. No leaks in this motorhome. I bought this in uh, California, San Bernardino. It was an insurance claim, and I'll show you shortly why. Coming down. Okay, back on my feet. Do a back away. See the big awning and the little awning? I'd have them out. They're like new. I've had them out once. Uh, I've had this motorhome two years. Uh, realistically, I just don't have the time to finish it. I've got lots of, lots of time invested, but Things kind of took off with my business and doesn't look like I'm gonna have time to fix it. Okay, here's what's, here's your damage. I believe it was, uh, he says, she says, but someone cut somebody off and the car skidded across the door there, took out the battery tray and took out the doors to your propane and to the battery tray. I rebuilt the battery tray those are two new batteries. Uh, very expensive. Heck, just the rollers to replace that battery tray was like $200. Heavy duty rollers, cabinet rollers. And do a close up on that. That's uh, the Prestige Edition. They were, uh, like I say, Monaco is one of the best in the business. This was going to be their. They're innovative. This isn't a bus chassis. This is the P30, a modified Chevy P30 chassis with the Cummins 5.9 uh, six-cylinder diesel with your four-speed transmission. And we'll go inside here. I've got parts for the stairs. The stairs work, but that typical quickie step. Uh, motor burned out the controller so I bought all new new setup it just needs to be installed I've got all new airbags all new springs this is all set to be it drove great I just wanted it better look at that nice parquet floor oak everywhere I'm coming up and there's you come right into the kitchen 
little table there. You got the fridge. That's an air conditioning unit there above the couch. You got a little love seat couch. And we come up to the control center. Yeah, TV. It's dated, yes. This would be a great one to modify to a newer. You got a retro ride that's just super neat. Leather seats. Corinthian leather, people. It does have a little bit of uh, condensation damage. You know, anything I well, buying it out of California, the weather's good. And you, you get condensation. Anyway, it's there's no no structural it just pretty much just peeled off some of the the uh, wallpaper wrap uh, there's your backup camera lots of storage curtains another view of the kitchen that's a convection microwave oven I'm sure we got four burners yeah that's four burner Korean countertops Bathroom's got lights underneath it. Look how plush this is. You can show it at night and see how all the mood lights. We got the commode. Nice corner shower with the skylight. Lots of room. Fancy vanity mirror. And like I said, that whole counter glows. Woodwork everywhere. Premium. I've got a. You're coming into the bedroom. We've got another air conditioning unit. This doesn't have those ugly roof units. This just has the box units. Kind of like a little house or like your house might have like a window unit integrated into it. More expensive, yes, but better quality. And that's with the sleeping bag off. As you can see, it's pretty nice. You get the little TV VCR, again dated be a fun one to just mount some big screen TV. I'm not a TV guy, but this is a traveling unit, so yeah, it'd be nice to have one. My personal motor home is just a camping one. I go down dirt roads and stuff, but I, don't, I can't get that engine off. Here we go. I'll set the camera down with the engine cover. Okay, there it is. Cummins 5.9 Turbo Diesel Intercooler. And you know what else it has? An exhaust brake. A jake brake. Crazy, huh? I think whoever owned this uh, really had it, you know, make the best of the best. I'll get back up to the controls and show you. Um... As far as miles, I don't know. I can get this odometer to kick on and it shows 10,700, but if you'll look and see, that's been replaced. It's not like the original tack. It's got a different uh, speedometer. I'm guessing it's got about 30, 40,000 miles. Just checking it over. Look at that, belongs in a boat, huh? Boom. That's your mechanical override, I think, on the Jake brake. The pressure exhaust builds up. Yeah, it's like flying a plane here, huh? Too many buttons. Yeah, it's really not that bad. But, uh, well, that's it in a nutshell. I hope you enjoy it. My wife really likes it. She wants me to keep it, but I just can't see something sitting. If I'm